Thanks again for checking out this tip from Shifting Schools. If you have students coming to you and asking for support with some of their organizational skills, things like how to best schedule out perhaps weekend before exams, um, how to get better control over really managing their own time, ChatGPT is also something that can help them get a firmer grasp on how they might go about scheduling their day, how they might end up uh, getting to that place where they have a better sense for what works in terms of organizing their time, organizing their tasks. And I think that showing them how to do this and showing parents and caretakers how to do this really helps with that gradual release of responsibility. Should we check it out? So here I am prompting ChatGPT to create a schedule for a weekend for a 15 year old student. I'm giving it some specific criteria in terms of here's when they will wake up, here's when they will go to bed, and I'm specifying what it is that they need time for. Again, maybe ChatGPT doesn't know that that student is going to need meals. So I've mentioned that, um, and I've also clarified what some of the tasks are that they will need time to work on. So let's see what ChatGPT comes up with. Not bad, but if you are a fan of the Pomodoro technique, which again reminds students to break down some of their study habits into shorter, more focused bursts of their attention, and then they actually get a built-in break, um, you're going to like what I'm doing here in reminding ChatGPT Okay, actually, let's make sure our tasks are done a little bit earlier, put the schedule into a table, and let's use the Pomodoro technique. One more revision I'm asking ChatGPT for is to include a space for students to actually leave some notes so that they can get clarity in terms of, did they have the right amount of time for the task? Did they need more? Did they need less? Again, I think this is a great activity to model with high school students as well as with their parents and caretakers.